What's up everyone, it's Dakota with Tarmy Analytics and in this latest video, it is part three of our stock screening dashboard series. Parts one and two are linked below. Uh, part one is where we pulled all the data to build our own stock screening dashboard. Part two, we actually built it. And then part three, I'm showing you exactly how we can get all the latest news for any ticker you wanna look at. So we've got a table here with uh, the URL to actual links of articles, and we're using Google as the source here. And then over here on the right, we've got various uh, news publishing agencies, and like for instance, Yahoo Finance, and let's pull this one here, and the URL will shoot you over to the article. So let's jump in and see exactly how we're gonna build this thing. Okay, so part one here, I am in my stock screening dashboard exactly where we left off in video part two. And I have made a totally new blank tab here. And on canvas background in settings, I'm going to bring in a new wireframe uh, design that I built in PowerPoint. So be sure to check that video out when I release it. it comes in as 100% transparency. I'm gonna bring the transparency all the way down. And now I've got two nice containers, one for news feed and then my news sources pie chart that I want to make. And let's start bringing in some data. So for our data source, we want a RSS feed, which is a type of data that comes in XML format. It's produced by all sorts of news agencies, Bloomberg, Reuters, Google has their own. I think Yahoo Finance has one. So. These are all coming from news websites. So we want uh, under get data in the web. So I pasted in the URL we're gonna use and it's pretty simple. I've decided to go to the Google News website and there's one search parameter we're bringing in. It comes after this Q and equals sign here and we are going to pull in Apple. That's what we have already in our dashboard. And later I will show how to make this uh, ticker here dynamic so that it feeds off of a parameter in Power Query. So Apple, let's press OK. Now when it first connects to the Google News website, you actually only pull two columns and one record here that is a little bit confusing to understand. So let's make sure we go into Power Query. Let's hit Transform Data. Now of course we want our stock dashboard to pull from any query that we dis or any ticker we decide we want to look at. And right now we have essentially hard-coded the Apple ticker into our query to the Google News website. Let's make sure we backspace this out, put an ampersand here. And remember from part two, we have a parameter called ticker. And what that's gonna do is, you know, if we change it to any other company, it's going to automatically flow through and refresh the news for a completely different company and not just Apple. Pressing OK here. Again, we're back at our first screen and we need to hit these two opposing arrows. And you can see that there are a lot of columns here that's coming through the web query that's not brought into this first view of the table. Another way you can do it is just click the hyperlink on the table here and that's gonna expand it out to all of it. So still one record, but some more columns. And then over here on item, we have the two opposing arrows again and the hyperlink on the table. Click the table. And what we have here is a lot of different news articles. I'm gonna sort descending by publish date. And then I'm going to, let's just make sure everything's looking okay. And on source, Again, there's some more columns we might want. And what that's bringing in is it's telling us the, the root URL for the news source that Google is compiling. I'm gonna click the X here in backspace. And let's instead click the two opposing arrows and say that we want both of those. So press okay. And now we've got the name of the article, the URL to it, the date it was published, the news organization that's doing the publishing and then the root URL for that news organization. So all of our data is here. Now let's bring it into our report. Okay, great. So I have our news feed table in here with the rest of our stock data and let's just build a simple table. We want the title to the article. We want the link. We want the published date. Let's make sure this table gets a little bigger. 
as you can see, we've we've got a bit of formatting work to do with the way that the data was brought in. So the first thing I'll do is I'll change the publication date. Instead of a hierarchy, I want it to be the absolute date. We don't care about it being date time. So let's select that column and change the date format to something a little smaller in terms of width. And let's see if that, okay, so that's a little smaller. Let's sort most recent news. And today is July 6th. So here we have our three articles that are already published this morning. It's six in the morning in Alaska. The link is just coming through as long text. So we want the users to be able to click a hyperlink and just jump to the article. So in order to adjust that, we need to actually change the data category, not just the data format. So data category over here in the column tools ribbon. And instead of uncategorized, we want to call this a web URL. And that's going to automatically turn it into a hyperlink, make it clickable. Okay, making this table actually readable instead of the long URL, let's go into our formatting pane and under URL icon, make sure this is turned on and that's gonna give you this little chain link. It's still gonna allow you to click and open the actual article. So this is coming from Benzinga and it's discussing how the Fed's actions on the economy affect Apple stock. So that opened correctly. But the point is we're making the table a little more readable while still giving the users the option to open the URL. So let's do some other formatting here and make sure that the table looks nice within our container. So all I've done here is I've adjusted some colors a little bit and I am going to now change the background on the link column because I can't really see those dark blue hyperlinks. So on under table settings, specific column on link, the background, let's do like a light gray. And I do not want to apply it to the header, but I do want to apply it to the values. Now let's add a donut chart visual in. And under legend, we want the legend, we want the name of the news organization that's providing the article. And under values, we simply want a count of the links that are being provided. So as you can see, Yahoo Finance here is giving us 21 articles, uh, which is 21%. So we must be getting 100 total articles. Uh, Bloomberg over here with three. And of course, selecting that is going to cross filter our articles. Look like Bloomberg had an article from two days ago talking about some Apple patents. And now let's format this donut chart so it's a little bit cleaner to look at. All right, so last step here is let's make sure the query parameter that we put in the ticker is actually dynamic. And let's test that by changing the stock that we're looking at to Tesla. To do that, we are going to go to the edit data here under edit parameters. And instead of ticker Apple, we'll do ticker Tesla. Press OK. Let's see how fast this is. Oh my goodness, and it was nearly instant. And just like that, we now have all the Tesla data pulling through on a nice bit of a run here. And then all of our nice new Tesla news feeds with totally updated URLs. So I hope you found this video useful. Of course, this is a multi-part series. I'm going to be adding more every week. So uh, be sure to subscribe and, and check back and there'll be more for you. So thanks for watching.